Glory to God. God. Let us pray. Just ask the Holy Spirit to fill you. you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Fill us, Lord. Fill us, Lord. Thanks, Amelia. In Jesus' name, amen. You may be seated. Hello. Right. Wisdom is the principal thing. Wisdom is the principal thing. All right? Wisdom is the principal thing. Proverbs 4 verse 7. Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore get wisdom. And with all thy getting... Get understanding. I'm trying to explain this verse. Why wisdom is the principal thing. Do you understand me? Wisdom is the principal thing. 
Therefore, get wisdom. With all you're getting, get understanding. It's the principal thing. It is the principal thing. Wisdom is the principal thing. Remember that. Wisdom is the principal thing. Amen? Wisdom is what? The principal thing. The principal, the main question. So if you miss that question and you didn't get it right or you didn't even do it, you got a problem. Tell somebody you got a problem. If you miss the principal thing, you got a big problem. That is why we do have independence. We do have self-governance. We, we do have a parliament. We, we still got a problem. We do have gold. We do have silver. We do have diamonds. We have oil. But we still got a problem. Because wisdom is the principal thing. You got a beloved? You got a nice beloved? But you still got a problem. Because wisdom is the principal thing. A lot of possible, a lot of possible brothers, a lot of possible sisters, a lot of nice people, but you still got a problem. Because wisdom is the principal thing. All right? Are you with me? Are you understanding what I'm talking about? Glory to God. You guys are doing a great job. Why is principle the why is wisdom the principal thing? Because number one, your promotions in your life depend on wisdom. You are going to be promoted. But it will depend on your wisdom. Your wisdom is the way you apply what you know. Remember, you may go to Harvard, MIT, Oxford, Yale, Princeton, Cambridge, and learn many things. All right? Are you listening? But when you land at Kotoka, you got to apply what you learned in Cambridge. And that is wisdom. You can't stand here in Ghana and say that Ghanaians have a problem. Or that Ghanaians are corrupt. Or Ghanaians are bad. Or Ghanaians don't understand democracy. Organians are this, Organians are that. You got a problem. You don't know how to apply what you learned in Oxford and MIT and Yale and Princeton and where Sorbonne University or whatever. You got a problem. You don't know how to make the country work. model marriage it be counseled for seven years one year six months have all kinds of practicals i hear they're going to build a marriage laboratory over there yeah, yeah. a lab yes those, those younger ones come out, they're going to enjoy the lab. Hey! <laughs> but when you get married, you land at Kotoka, back from the honeymoon. Huh? How to apply what you learn. In the model marriage and the marriage counseling. That's the difference. 
But it's not that, oh, this man is someone. You want to call the pastor and say, Pastor, you don't know my husband. I tell you, he's not as he looks. He's different from how you see him. I'm telling you, Pastor, it is not as smart and I'm experiencing here. Hey, Pastor, I tell you, I cannot stay here again. Wow. You got to fight to implement the wonders that you have learned. That's, that's all life is about, the wisdom, the, how you apply it. But if you think somebody knows a lot of things, then you are making a mistake. Because most people know something, but how to implement it practically. There, on the ground. That is the whole key. And that's why wisdom is then your principal thing. That is why you will find Ghanaians in Ghana prospering in the same environment and Ghanaians in Ghana not able to prosper. And you find Ghanaians in England able to prosper and Ghanaians in England not able to prosper. Do you understand what I'm talking about? (laughs) So, How can you apply it? So that's what you should be asking all the time. Help me to apply it. Help me to apply it. Like if you go to school and we teach you learn past questions, it's a wisdom key. So when you get to school, how can I apply it? So you need to be asking questions along the way. How can I apply it? Tell me because I don't see how practically I can actually apply this. Do you get it? Yeah, so, that's, so that, that's why you never stop needing guidance. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You never stop needing vision. Amen. Okay? Amen. So God wants to bless you. And your promotion depends on your wisdom. Proverbs 4 verse 8. Exalt her and she shall promote thee. So don't throw books on the ground. Exalt them. Lift them up. Don't throw books away. Exalt her. All right? She shall bring thee to honor when thou dost embrace her. So your promotions, I see you being promoted. Honors. She shall bring thee to honor when thou dost embrace her. You'll be saluted based on your wisdom. Some of you have never had a salutation. No one has ever saluted like this or waved. People have never waved at you like this. It's going to happen soon. Beginning from this month, your honor will start to rise. Yes. Amen. All things that are shameful in your life are ending this week. That's why wisdom is the principal thing. She shall bring thee to honor when thou dost embrace her. So the way you think, you see, remember this, is the way you think. You know, when you see somebody... Everybody you see, remember, the person knows something and the person thinks in a certain way. Yeah. The person knows something and the person also thinks in a certain way. And the way the person thinks is what is the person's wisdom. Do you understand? Yes. The average African, the average African, when he's made a leader, thinks in a certain way. It's a, it's a default route. You understand the word default? Yes. Like, this is the way it goes. It's like, be a big man, have a glorious mansion with ex- wonderful, expensive cars, and celebrate your greatness, and everybody under you is far, far below who you are, or what you are. And everybody should know your glimmering Greatness when they see you. 
So whether it is from a pastor to a managing director to a DCE to a director is the same picture or a chief. And never really the way of thinking is not to elevate people. Hmm. But it is a certain greatness that must be clear first. Yes. That's a standard way of thinking. So you see it. The head of state may have a road only to his house if you go to different African countries. Recently, I was in a certain African country, and then as we were getting towards the airport, I noticed a, a, a special road. It's the second time I've seen a special road to a, a head of state house. Yes, it only goes there. Like Tamamoto, with straight, it's only to the person's house. Yes, it's fantastic. You see it going with lights. It's only to his house. And the, and the masses don't experience anything like that. It's a standard way of thinking of the African. And that is why this, the wisdom that they have, the way they think, leads to a certain lowliness of the, of the majority of the people. Yes. It's just, it's just default. So if you come from that group, you must learn a new way of thinking. If you don't acquire, that's why I say get wisdom. It means it can be gotten. If you don't get it, you stay out of the fruits of it. You stay out of the fruits of it. A certain honor will not come to you. That is why when a head of state from America would come to Ghana, the country virtually comes to a standstill. The airport is closed. Fighter jets come in. Schools close. They come out and stand on the road to hide the slums behind, wave with flags. But when our president goes there, he will be met by a school teacher or some other low grade, whatever. Yes. We have this honor. Honor comes from wisdom. You are not honored. You are not honored. You are not respected. Wow. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You are not honored. It's not an honor to be met by a teacher when you are the head of state. But when they look at us, the airport in Dallas will extend from here to the airport and beyond. One of the airports in Dallas, one of them from here. All this place will be part of the airport. Yes. Oh, yeah. With a train connecting. You see it. She called on what airport on a one in your honor, you'll be respected. I said, you will be respected. Yes. When I go as a pastor to places, especially America, if, they, if, if I'm met by the pastor of the church, if I, if I can, I will also meet the pastor. But most of the time, you will not be met by the pastor. So I don't also meet them. If they come, I say, come, this is the way. You know, you see, many, I remember one um, 
I remember one Ghanaian lady, she was in charge of an organization, so some, I think, Americans or whatever came to Ghana. She met them, airport, drove with them here, there, took them here, bought oranges for them, bananas, everything, <laughs> gave them food, hosted them, everything, took them eventually back to the airport to fly out. So when she went to America, when she got there, then they said, they gave her the bus. You take the bus. That's 226 from here to this station. When you get to this station, you change from 226 to 108. Going north. Don't forget, don't go south. Go north. When you go on north, you get to a certain bus stop. You take, get down there, and then you can, this is, it's just a short walk to the place. <laughs> yes. So you see that a certain respect, as they even come here, a certain respect for you, you are equally being treated in a certain way. So at that point, I met this lady and she said, oh, she's no more meeting these people at the airport and she's no more buying oranges and bananas and things for them. Yeah, so, so, so there's a bus, you take a taxi drop in from Kotoka and then you come to wherever. There's a short walk from there to here. <laughs> Wow. You will be honored from tonight. The next one, happiness. Yes. Happiness. Wisdom is your source of happiness. The way you think makes you happy or makes you sad. Proverbs 3 verse 18. She is a tree of life to them that lay hold upon her. Happy is everyone that retaineth her. Happy is everyone that retaineth her. Some of you are always sad. It is because of the way you think. The way you think makes you sad. Makes you depressed. Makes you unhappy. Some of you, you have within you a spirit of discontentment you are never content with what you have and what God has given you your beloved is not good enough your husband is not good enough your wife is not good enough life is not good enough everything you are always negative about it and so your wisdom, there are people who would love to have what you have. Yeah. Hey, my, my beloved, my beloved doesn't, my beloved doesn't, it doesn't text me that, he has texted me only twice today. He WhatsApped me only twice. And yesterday was only one. But he used to WhatsApp me seven times a day. Wow. There are people who receive WhatsApp once a week. And they're okay. They would have been happy to have what you are having. Are you listening to me? So ladies and gentlemen, the way you think, you know, because I'm a pastor, I know a lot of pastors, and I know a lot of pastors marry, and you'd be surprised. People who you think are stars, you should hear what the spouse is saying in the house. Oh, this man, you don't know. You see, pastor, a lot of things you don't know. It's not as you. Look, let me tell you, Pastor. We, we are experiencing what I'm experiencing. It's not what you are thinking. This is not what you are, you are seeing. Remember, there are 200 people waiting. They are waiting in line, wishing to come in. What Vashti wasn't happy with, Esther was very happy with it. What Vashti didn't like. Esther 
was happy to enter and Charlie, I'm here with me. I like it as it is. So if they say I should come and walk with only panties, I don't mind at all. I don't mind at all. Ah, is it when they call you to come and walk? They say you should come and say your visitors have come, they are looking beautiful. Come, that is the problem. Is that the problem? Get poor. Oh, no, poor. Oh, no, poor. Yeah, this is your problem. He said you should come when the visitors came. He said you should come and walk. That's the problem. Is that the problem you are talking about? Oh, no, poor. You will not get. Happy is the man that retaineth her. Happiness. All of you moody, depressed, discontent, always not smiling. Attitude has come. Face has come. A, 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 a squeeze up. I mean, disfigured. Mental. I don't know what is wrong with you. Abba. you are you are not happy when Esther heard of the problem that Vasti was not happy about she said what tell me they are ready I like it I like it is this the guy that they say it doesn't lie ah! and Esther came into the palace ready with dresses ready with panties ready with nighties call me at any time call me in the morning call me in the evening call me in the afternoon oh king i'm ready for you give the lord a shout of praise hey is this the problem you are talking about This is the problem you are talking about. Why are you talking, man? Happiness. Sit down. Pleasantness. Wisdom is the source of pleasantness. Her ways are ways of pleasantness. And all her paths are peace. When you see a pleasant person, you are seeing a wise person. Oh yes. When you go to certain places and you see, watch the African face. Yes. Do not even lift up the eye at you. Eh? What did you say? It's, I said it's 40 CDs. I said it's 40 CDs. Have you seen it before? You go to the hospital. What? Where is your pa- You said, what is wrong with you? That is why people don't come to your clinic. Because you are not wise. You never know who you are speaking to. He said her ways, like a wise person is a pleasant person. You, you see, you don't know who was that person that you spoke to. You don't even know. So a wise person is pleasant. Hallelujah. Wisdom is the source of pleasantness. Wow. As, look, as you have made your face at your workplace, I tell you, you just meet a pleasant person. You will never forget the person. And you will ask, who was that? Many times when I'm on, on an aeroplane, I, if the person is nice, I say, thank you for being nice. That's all. Thank you for being nice. 
I've been on planes with nasty people, nasty air hostesses. Yeah. I was once on a, uh, on a plane. I got that when we, when we got down, when we got up, we landed. This is a funny lady talking. She, she started shouting at me. She, she thought I was, she thought I was, I was, to, I was getting off the plane. She thought I was going to get us. We are waiting for you. I said, look at you. <laughs> Foolish woman. You, do you know what I'm, I said, I'm not getting down. Do you know whether I'm getting down or not? You start, you are, you are wait, shouting in the whole plane. Look at, look at, a bitch. Yes. woman you meet them shouting in the plane I said nonsense nonsense what do you mean <laughs> sit down sit down some of you I tell you your unpleasantness is phenomenal and you don't know who you are speaking to you have no idea You see, that day, listen, shh, I'm telling you, shh. Many, you see, many of us, eh, you see the face at the counter. You see the face at the door. Eh? You say, oh, 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 oh. straight away, you can see. But you go to some other oh, hello. They, 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 they. they are being nice. The person is thinking differently from the one who's made the face. Oh, oh, oh. Eh? Where's your pad? Where's your folder? I said, go and bring your folder. Why do you want to come to the hospital? Don't you know that you have to go? Go to the place and go and get a folder. That's it. Where's your pad? Remove it. Go and put it. Look, go here. You should see them treating the people when they are giving birth as if you are treating dogs. Pleasantness. The day. Shh. Listen, no. Listen, no. It's not, I'm not making jokes, so. I'm not making jokes. People are not chosen because of such things. People are chosen because of such things. You love you see, You've made your face. Most of the day you've made your face. Except when you think something, you are going to get something, you start, <laughs> then you start to look, smile. Or you see an important person, you think this person is important. That's why now when you're going on the plane, they know your name. You know, they check who you are. They know your name, how frequently you fly. So that they know this person is this. This person is this. Yes. This person is like this, so so that's when I come, they'll take my bag and walk with me. Wow. Yeah, because they, they look and they say, is this then they they, they start yeah. to start artificial niceness. <laughs> yes. Because they feel this person is like this, so you have to do this. But your real face, look at your face in the mirror and see the attitude. And that's the same attitude you will marry, you will not know. You become unpleasant. And a normal unbeliever, he will look and say, like, what is this kind of creature I have brought to my house? <laughs> it's true. And when they go out, they go out and they meet a girl, so, oh, daddy. The, your boss, so you are calling him daddy. Oh, daddy. Very pleasant. You think what I'm preaching is imaginary? You think what I'm preaching is imaginary? You have no smile, no face, no pleasantness. A day you are chosen is the day that your life changes. Wow. Oh, yes. oh yes. And the day you are not chosen, your, your life is not. The day somebody sees you and chooses you. Yeah. You've made your face. Go, mm, you, mm. <laughs> hey. hey. Somebody comes to propose to you. You just laugh at him. You think this one is all, this guy, ah! Even if you are saying no, even if you are saying no, shh, listen, don't. You see, you take the, the things are not funny. Oh. It sounds funny, but actually sometimes it is so true that it's ridiculous. Keep staying in the church. You think it's beauty only that by which we get married. The day you are chosen. The day you are chosen. The day you are chosen. Vivaldi. Vivaldi who sings. 
she told me, she gave me a testimony. She said, the day you said, where is the girl who sang in the morning? She said, that was the day my life changed. She said, you said, where is the girl who sang in the morning? You see, when you are noticed, you are recognized for anything, and you are called for, like, to pick you. The, where is that? That's the, the beginning of everything. Wow. And, and some of you don't realize that you, you don't know who you are doing it for. But you are selected pleasantness for selected people who you think are important. How many times have I stood afar and I'll be watching somebody far? Because I know that when the person sees me, say, oh, Bishop. <laughs> but I want to see how the person is really. And you see the attitude and the behavior. <laughs> the one that says, oh, Bishop. Many times, it's one of my favorite pastimes. If you like, watch, you watch the side of my eye, you see that I'll be looking at her. I'm watching to see. Yeah. People come to the church, you don't know who it is. You just shoot the person, start, sit here, stand here. We have had people leave this church because of that. Very important people said, so I came here, they moved, they said, move, move here. Then after they said, I should move here. They didn't know, the, the person was a very high something, United Nations something. She said, you know, I can't take that any, I mean, what is it? you don't know who it is. You don't know who the people are. You're supposed to be nice to everybody. That's why when somebody stopped me and is asking me, sometimes it's like, oh, Bishop, I want to, I, want to, I had a dream yesterday. I, I've just finished preaching. The person has come to tell me I have a dream. <laughs> I said, well, what is the dream, please? What is the dream? Because I don't know who it is. Maybe he's a very important person. So you say you've had the dream. So what, what is the dream? You say what? I, I saw two crabs. <laughs> yeah. From your life, you don't know what somebody is and who is going to be, who is going to become. Don't make special faces for special people. Have faces for this. Faces. Look, people, marry somebody who has a face, good face all the time. Not a good face just selected when I see you. <laughs> Bishop, if you like, watch me. When people are talking to you, they usually smile. When they see me, they oh, always they smile. They are always pleasant looking, but that is not how. So you see a radical transformation. But pleasantness is actually a sign of wisdom. Yeah. Be careful with everybody. As I'm with you in the first lecture, what do you have? Who are you? No, and even some of you, even phone, you don't have. You don't have even beloved. You don't have anything. No problem. I will be as nice to you. You see, some of you, I treat you nicely. I talk to you all the time. Yes. It, I don't have to. It's wisdom. It's, and then later, somebody asks, where do you get these people from? Says, how do you get this person? How do you, how do you get this person? How, how, do, I, how do I get a, a Bishop Oko? I knew him when he was wearing big canvas shoes. With, what do you call it? With jeans. That's when I knew him. That's when I knew him. Where did I get Bishop Johnny from? I knew him when he was in tech. When he was singing in tech, that's why I knew him. Where did I get Ida from? I, I got her in school. All oh, my people, you see it as if there's nobody. Yes. You, you are pleasant only to big bosses. Yeah, because you are, you are a fool. That's what you are. You are a fool. And I didn't mention your name. If it is not, hey, look, don't, don't say that I've insulted you. Don't say that I've insulted you. Don't say that I've insulted you. I beg you, don't say that I've insulted you. If you know it's not you, just smile and just be looking forward. Please, I beg you. I beg you. Sit down. Wisdom is a source of peace. When you see a peaceful person, it's a wise person. Oh, yes. Peace is a wise person.
Her ways are ways of pleasantness, and all her paths are peace. Peacefulness. Ah, you will get a peaceful person to marry. I said you will get a peaceful person to marry. I said you will get a peaceful person to marry. There is something today. Why, <laughs> when you came, you didn't wave yesterday. You've been waving up till today. You stopped waving today. This tomorrow, that you are not happy with this. You will have a peaceful person. You will have a peaceful person. All guys who like quarreling, all guys who like quarreling. Eh? Take notes that it is not wisdom to always be on an issue. You, you are sorting. You, say, you are sorting this thing out. Tell her, why not leave the issue? But all time, all time, all sort near out. Hey! All time, all sort near out. Allow a few issues to pass without being sorted out. What a blessing to have a peaceful person. You will see a peaceful person in your life. Allow it to pass by. Your husband is sleeping in the morning before he realizes. I need to discuss something with you. <laughs> I need to discuss something with you. At, at dawn, at dawn. Instead of prayer, you are coming for discussion. Okay, boy, you dream of you. Hey. Things do not just pass by as far as you are concerned. If you were a FIFA referee, there would be a foul every three seconds. Be, Pah! <laughs> when they play, not Pah! foul. When they play, not Pah! how can you play? How can you play? Nobody can score, nobody can do anything. Sometimes you see the referee who say, What? Play on, play on. Just allow, 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 allow. Play on. You will be hearing play on for the rest of your life. How many would like to go out and when you come home, your spouse, whether husband or wife, will say, play on, play on, play on, play on, play on. Hey. Sit down, you are blocking the view of people. Oh, oh, sort near out. No, no, I can't let this issue pass. I, I, need, to, I need to discuss with you. Yes, I want to point out something to you. Yeah, I want to point it out to you. You are taking a lot of things for granted. Yeah, I know what I'm saying. That's how my father taught me. Yes, I know what I'm saying. I can't let this go. Yes. I need, I need to see you. Now. That's why you are not happy. Your, your lack of peace and happiness is a result from the lack of wisdom. Because wisdom, her ways are ways of pleasantness. Her paths are paths of peace. If another lady was to take your place, the, ha- the house would be quiet. If, if somebody comes to stand outside your window, they will be hearing... <laughs> But now, when they stand outside the window, they what? What did you say? No, listen. I put it look. But I saw the do And you said, I don't know that. But I don't know. That's if they stand outside your window to listen. Debate. 
Yeah, I get what you are saying, but 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 18 says this. And so I want to point out certain things, scriptures. <laughs> scriptures. Napoleon said this. Macbeth said this. Hey, Bartholomew said this. You are not a peaceful girl. You are not a peaceful brother. True. True. So you are not wise. There is no peace. You don't enjoy things. Yeah. Your husband can your 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 husband can take you to Thailand for holidays. When you arrive at Thailand, as you are at the immigration show your passport, yeah, you know you should let the lady, you should let ladies go first. I do go first, this and that. But also, look at this man. You see how he's carrying his wife back. He doesn't know how to carry a bag and so on. And they've taken you to Thailand for holidays. Holidays. Hey. A lot of people would like to be going to Thailand. Onapo. Wisdom is the source of valuable things which are more valuable than money. For the merchandise of it is better than the merchandise of silver. And the gain thereof than fine gold. She is more precious than rubies. And all the things that thou canst desire are not to be compared unto her. Amen. You see, wisdom, the merchandise of wisdom is like higher than money. Now, what people don't realize is that there comes a time where there are things which are more important in achieving what you need to achieve than money. But most people's mind, the way your wisdom works, is ends at money. Do you see? Yes. But I'll say that one of the things that God has given me a wisdom line of thinking and reasoning that God has given me is that I don't need money to achieve what I'm going to achieve. That is, that, that is the default automated and automatic mind that I have. That, no, it's not through money. So if you think that way, you see, you will start to achieve many things that people always think money is needed for. For instance, most of the African leaders, their minds work in the way that you need money. You need a loan. You need either the China to come in, Germany, European Union. Uh -huh. This is a default thinking of somebody who does not know that there are some things that the value of would have been more than the value of let's say 10 million or 10 billion dollars it's like just let's say wisdom if you have some wisdom it it will give you much more than that yes One day, I, I had a crusade, and uh, I flew to um, a certain country. When I was flying, on the, on the, I was with a man of God who is in that country where I had the crusade. So the man of God asked me, he, yeah, I mean, no one even ever asked me that. He actually thought I was, I was, he didn't know I was from Africa. He thought I was from Europe. So he asked me, how much did you spend to have this crusade? And I had not had somebody ask me that question directly. So, um, I mentioned the figure that we used to have the crusade. Then he said, oh, I can have the same crusade. He divided it by seven. And he mentioned the calculation divided by seven. Yeah, he mentioned it from his country. So, I can have a crusade 
divided by seven. He, he divided the whole amount that I mentioned, huge amount that I mentioned that it cost us to have the crusade. He divided it by seven. So, oh, I can have this crusade for this amount. He divided it by seven. Any currency, you can use any figure divided by seven, those of you who do maths. Any currency, seven CDs, one CD. I said, oh, I would have done it for one CD. If I said 70, said, oh, I would have done it for 10 CDs. When he said that, I felt God had spoken to me. So I came back and rethought through the way we're doing the crusade. And also went through the debate and said that what this man is saying is true. If I do this, divided by I should be able to have the crusade. Yes. So through that wisdom, I was able to cut down because I believed it. I be, you see, but most people, when you tell them you can do this without money, they don't believe it. When you say, oh, you can do this, with, you don't need money. For, they don't believe it. If I say, give me a straight, I just need a rope and masons. I'll build a road. Do I carry it from Accra to Kumasi? Two here, two here. Give me a rope and give me the toll at Kaswa. How much, how much did they charge when MPP were having a conference? A day. They charge them so that they open the tolls. 12,000 US dollars. That is how much they were collecting a day. If I buy $12,000 cement sandstones, I will just ask which direction is Kumasi? Is this straight here? Straight. And we start casting from here. Concrete, not a tar. Since even these three years have gone by, where do you think we would have reached by now? $12,000 cement. How much cement? Well, how many cements were times four? 48,000 cities every day. Can you imagine the amount of co concrete I will cast? From here, I will be going. Uh, see that by now, I will be around Suhum, beyond, getting towards in Koko. Yes. Two here, two here. With that. But you see, if you say, you see, most people mind blocks at money. Anybody you meet who's first, oh, we need resources, or we need a loan, or we need a foreign, or whatever, he has a certain kind of wisdom, and that kind of wisdom always leads to poverty. If you are going to do business, the first thing is you are going to get a loan. First thing is, and you see the bank's advertising. Yeah. A loan in less than 24 hours. Check the car parks of the things that have been seized by these people before you are getting your 24 hours loans. It's not as free as you think. So those of you who want to rise up, you cannot rise until you put money in its proper place. Money has its proper place. Money is important, but its importance is not as you think. Yes, it's far more of a certain way of thinking than of money. Yeah, so until money comes to the right place in your mind, you can never be rich. You cannot be rich. Money has a place, but it has a right place. So when you see, so oh, we need a loan from this to build airport. We need a loan from this to build this road. We need a loan from this. So, oh, we have secured a loan from this to build it. We have secured a loan from this. It's a certain kind of wisdom. And how many people will give you a loan and how much can you get? Even fire engine that you are going to buy is a loan. Fire engine that you are going to buy is a loan. And you use parts to buy a part. So everybody here, every church, every pastor, every business, everybody put money at the rest. No, they're going to get back. Oh, I need money. That's why I'm not marrying. No, it's not true. See me, I'll show you how to marry. Hey, I'll show you how to marry just now. Made easy. Made easy. That's why many of you are disappointed when you finish school, because when you finish school, 
you realize that you don't have the money, or you have money, but there are many other things that have come to add to, to life. You are the next to prosper in Jesus' name. Yeah. The next thing is treasures, riches. Those that I may cause those that love me to inherit substance, I will fill their treasures. Through wisdom, you'll be rich. Riches are a result of the way you think. Let us ask Europe, what do they have? Have you ever heard of France having gold, diamonds, bauxite, or anything before? What do they have? They have a way of thinking. I was watching a ship that they were repairing, a, a warship. They took about two years to rehabilitate it. One year or two years. And after that, they put it on the water to test it for eight months. With lifts. Even one gun, when it's firing, it comes with a lift. It's huge. The bullet is bigger than a lift. It goes up. To load. Come. Very complex. The mind is compl- complex. Created it. Recently, we landed. I was in the plane. We landed. Shoo, boop, 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 shoo, we landed so, then the pilot came and spoke. He well, ladies and gentlemen, that landing was the computer. Because of there was some weather, what do you call it? I decided to do a computer landing. So I did not land the plane. It was the computer that landed the plane. I said, God bless you, brother. <laughs> yes. The plane has a computer that can land. So if it happens you are in a plane, the pilot is dead, whatever is dead, you just radio them and say, please, what button should I press so that we land? You'll be cool. Yes. It lands with, by a computer. Yeah. What wisdom is this? They, it is not gold, oil, silver, whatever. Is wisdom. Yeah. You are exporting oranges. Somebody's exporting iPhones, iPads. You are exporting tomatoes. You are, you are selling pepper. Do you think you will be rich? Do you know how complex it is to make an iPhone or a Samsung phone? Eh? You are harvesting plantains, making eggs. You see, I was surprised to find that America has so much oil. I think they have more oil than anybody in the world. Yeah, they've hidden it. They are buying people's oil. They are using it. Wisdom. So remember, those who have wisdom, a certain way of thinking, those are the people that are rich. And it is the same thing that applies right here in Ghana. Amongst you, those who think in a certain way, you will be rich. You are the next person to be rich. And those who think, so start to renew your mind. I'm telling you, start to renew your mind. Treasures, believe it. God is supernaturally making you think in a certain way. In Jesus' name. Amen. Long life. Wisdom is a source of long life. Proverbs 4 verse 10. Hear, O my son, receive my saying. The years of thy life shall be many. Which countries have long life expectancy? Japan, 1900. They were saying in the year, they were saying in 10 years from now, there are going to be 8 million people above the age of 100 in the UK. Yes. Because they are finding every way to cure every possible disease and to keep you breathing. Yes. Whereas here, if you take blood, for culture, you send it, it will take some time. Or lab five days, whatever. By the time you come, you've treated it, whatever. <laughs> you, you finish treating it. So if you are a doctor in Canada, you learn how to treat blind medicine. You learn how to treat. When the person is fever, you say, look, 
it may be this, it may be this, it may be this. So I will just wipe all the three out <laughs> together. So some clinics have stamps. Everybody gets a stamp. Pow! Ampicillin, chloroquine, multivite, B complex, paracetamol. Pow! Oh, it will wipe out almost every possible disease. It is with a stamp. Because when we go and do the test, <laughs> long life. Yes. From wisdom. I once, I once worked in a hospital. When I came to the children's ward, I saw a lot of guys standing outside. I said, who are these people? So many guys standing outside. They said, oh, they are selling blood. I said, what do you mean they are selling? So, they have their own blood in them. They are blood contractors. <laughs> if anybody needs blood, they are there. You can take some. And you pay. Yes. This is, the, this is their work. No, seriously. I'm telling you what it is. I've seen it before. These guys, they are selling their blood. I don't want to mention the hospital. <laughs> Others are international level. That's why when Ebola was, Ebola go to America, there is no way it will spread. No way. Hey. You now, you arrive in a bubble. You arrive in a bubble. Yeah. What are you talking about? Isolation. That's why it couldn't spread at all, even though it went to America, here, here, but in Sierra Leone, Guinea is still moving. Wisdom, he says, by wisdom, your, life, your years will be many. Yeah. One day I went to eat with an American. When we finished eating, he did something. And I, I looked, I said, <laughs> and the Holy Spirit told me, see something? Wisdom. I will not tell you what he did. <laughs> Personal benefits. Number 10. Personal benefits. If thou be wise, Thou shalt be wise for thyself. But if thou scornest, thou alone shalt bear it. If thou be wise, thou shalt be wise for thyself. Personal. You see, wisdom benefits you personally. You, you personally benefit from wisdom. So when you start to walk in wisdom, there are certain personal benefits God will release to you that others will not have. No matter how you try to transfer, they can't have it because it is a result of your way of thinking that these benefits are gone. So that's why I say, if thou be wise, thou shalt be wise for thyself. Look, if you go to Switzerland, eh, eh, at first I thought it was train. When you stand there and they, they, they say that the train is coming at 712, it means 712. At 7, 11, 40, 15 seconds to 12, you see the train coming like that. Exactly 7, 12, it will pass. But at first, I thought it was trains. So if you are wise, you will be wise for yourself. You have your own trains. We don't even have a train that is going anywhere. But, when it, but, but buses, buses, you see the bus. They've written it that the bus is coming at 17 minutes past 8. Traffic, cars, whatever, at exactly 17 minutes past eight, the bus will be there. And it will get to where, no matter day or night, time of the day, it is never late. If you are wise, you are wise for yourself. Can you stand at a Ghana bus stop and say, you are going to get a, a bus? Oh. Is there a bus stop even? I hear STC is now Toyota Highs. Yes. Toyota Hiace, small one. Yeah. <laughs> STC is now Toyota Hiace. So, 
Yes. The ability to lead. Wisdom gives you the ability to be a leader. Yes. Read it. It says, by me, Proverbs 8, 15. If thou be wise, thou shalt be wise for thyself. Proverbs 9, 12. Proverbs 8, 15. By me, kings reign and princes decree justice. By me, kings reign. Wisdom is, is what is used to lead and to govern. Yes. Wisdom is what is used to lead and to govern. Yes. Are you there? Yeah. You want to be a leader? You want to be a leader of a church? You need to think in a way. That's why the book Art of Leadership is very important for you. That book will help you to think in a certain way. Yes. By me, kings reign. Kings reign. Kings reign. People lead. People are in charge. People become leaders. People become in charge of things by the way they think. Yes. By the way they think. And when you work, that, that's why people don't want to work for certain people. Yes. Why are people taking boats and crossing? Why are people ready to die? They are trying to run away from certain people who are leading. The way they are leading is killing everybody. The way you lead even can cause a war to be in the country. When we had our revolution in Ghana, you think, that, look, some of you don't know that you have a shop called UTC, Kingsway. When you enter the shop, eh, do you know what is in the shop? White shelves. There was nothing in the shop. The shop is there, but it's empty. Do you remember? Quiet. Not the GNTC. You enter, it's empty. Those who have things, a special connection, yeah. you will get kiso, omo, uh, <laughs> bread. <laughs> bread, milk, whatever. It's, it's called essential commodities. Yes, in Ghana. <laughs> Those were the conditions that led to a revolution. You didn't buy it. My father had a hotel. There was no bread in Ghana. I tell you, there was nothing like bread in Ghana. I had a friend who had a bakery down around, um, what is that cinema? Osu inside. At the back there, I used to go there. His mother was a basic, sometimes they have connection and I'll go there and say, I'll get one loaf. Yes, it's a connection. Bread. No, no, I'm explaining the lack of bread caused the French Revolution to happen. The lack of bread also brought about our own revolution. You can't get anything. You have to be a top something to get milk, sugar, rice, exercise book. That is, so some of you, when you become leaders, you can create conditions which make it unstable for you to continue being the leader. And you see in a lot of African countries, Oh, you don't understand what I'm saying. I could say, I could say a, a few more things, but I'll, I'll not say them. Wow. How many are going to get the principal thing? The next one, creative abilities. Proverbs 3.19. The Lord by wisdom has founded the earth, and by understanding has he established the heavens. Wisdom. Many of us are non-creative. You cannot create something wonderful. Look at the names that we have here. Kodesh. It's an, it's an original name. Adlai Chapel. Jesus Cafe. Ministry Shepherds. 
Fellowship shepherds. Anakazo. Huh? Alos. First love. Biazo. Makane. Poimano. Enegema. Keriso. Macarius. And some of you, beloved doses. These are all originals. Minshen. Yes. Are you listening? Wisdom makes you create. You don't have to. You, you'll be coming up with new things. Wonderful things. I see you coming up with something wonderful. And finally, wisdom makes you build. Yes. Proverbs 24, verse 3 and 4. Through wisdom, a house is builded. And by understanding, it is established. Through wisdom is a house built. So anywhere you see they can't build, they have not wisdom. That is it. What do you think? It is true. You are receiving wisdom now. Yes. Starting from this month, everything that prevents you from building is wiped out. Yes. Sit down. Once you are in this church, the building grace is upon you. Anybody who builds is rich. Yes. Once you build, you are rich. Yes. Remember that. In a country like ours, where the city today does not mean the city tomorrow. Huh? A building is one million times better than a bank. Yes. You are better off with a building than with all kinds of bank arrangements. In 1983, it cost 6,000 CDs. Those CDs. 6,000 to buy a ticket from here to England. Yes. 6,000. That is the old one. I don't know. Huh? 60 pesos. Or 6 pesos. 60 pesos. Divided by, yes, that old type. Yeah. 6,000. 60 pesos. Less than a CD. What is the CD? CD today. Ticket, uh, VC10, Ghana Airways, VC10 to London, 1983. I know somebody who bought it. I know the price. 6,000, 60 pesos. So if you are saving the 60 pesos, like you are saving it for in, uh, interest. So building makes you rich. So when you are wise, anybody who is in this room, I don't know about those outside, but those in this room are receiving the grace to build. In Jesus' name. <laughs> Sit down. The child, the child of a goat is entitled to the wisdom of a goat. And the child of a father is entitled to the wisdom of the father. You are receiving the wisdom to build. In Jesus' name! Sit down. When the Bible says by wisdom a house is built, eh, 
Don't think about it. Believe it. Don't think about money and don't ever think about loans. Don't go for loans. Don't believe what they are telling you. Don't believe what they are telling you. Don't believe in loans. It's not wisdom. But you can go for it if you want to. But I'm telling you, God has blessed me to believe in not borrowing money. Receive that wisdom today in Jesus' name. How sweet is your sleep when you don't owe anybody? How sweet is your rest when you don't know anybody? Sit down. One day I went out preaching Sunday. I came back Sunday evening. There were 12 men in my house. I said, who are these? They said, they are people you owe. Yes. 12 men. They have come from uh, either Kokompe or somewhere. So my, my business I was doing, I was owing them. When I saw them, after church to negotiate. It's not a small thing to owe money. It's not a small thing. A, a, a borrower is a servant. If you borrow from Echo Bank, you are a servant of Echo Bank. And by the way, Echo Bank have your papers. When the time comes, they will come for the things. Yeah. Design. Ready. Small, small. If you build small, 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 small. Small, 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 small. I know somebody, he was a graduate from tech. He built his entire house himself. From foundation, he laid up every block himself personally and is in the house. The windows, everything. He did it himself. One man, he built his house physically and he's in the house. Some years ago. Yes. But you see, some of us, we feel we are, we are bigger than a carpenter. Yes. That is why the carpenters who work for the church have houses. The masons who work for the church have houses. But you, the big shot, high flying doctor, Whatever businessman, bank, managerial, whatever, you have nothing. Yes, you are too big. Riches begin when humility begins. Listen. You see the prodigal son? Onaka guy, a poor he was down with the pigs. His prosperity started returning. When humility entered his mind, he said, he said, you know something? And when he started thinking in a certain way, that's why I said, wisdom makes you come to riches. He said, and when he came to himself, so when his thinking changed, that's what I'm trying to teach you to change your thinking. Even though you are in God, change your thinking. Then he said, I will arise and I will go to my father and I will say, Father, I've sinned again. You make me as one of your servants, like humble. So, when, as soon as you become humble, you start to return, going back. Up. His, his journey, listen, his journey was down, 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 down. He was first rich. He had half of his father's property and estate. His father had houses at Reggie Manuel Gray and other places, but he took half. He used all, oh, and he was now staying with pigs. So he was now down, but he started to go up. First step up was when he became humble. That you know, I will just go back and be at the lower level. That was the first step. Hallelujah. Step. Hallelujah. Step. Hallelujah. Step. Hallelujah. Step. Oh. 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 oh, yes. Humility makes you rich. Too fast to be rich. Too fast. You see, loan makes you fast. When you, when you have a loan, you are fast. You see, like the prodigal son, his poverty began when he wanted loans and poverty started coming quickly because he wanted instantly to have all the wealth. 
You see, when somebody takes a loan, he wants immediately to have car, this, 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 now. No, I can't wait. He said, give unto me the portion of good that falleth unto me. And his father divided unto them his living. And immediately, he took his journey to a far country. And he started to go this way. Money was going down, 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 down. Because he wanted to have it now. You want to you want to drive Benz now. You want to have car now. You are not supposed to have a car at this stage. You are not supposed to have this at this stage. You are not supposed to have, but you want it now. And the bank will call and say, Oh, madam, sir, based on your what you want, you know, you, you, you qualify, you'll be a prestige customer. I'll, I'll deal with you personally. I'm your personal manager. And, uh, you know, some, you can even take a loan. You want to buy a television. You have got married in a flat screen. And they want blender. One this, one this, one this, one this. And you can have it all. And then uh, you can also have this. Uh, <laughs> you can even do whatever. Personal banking. I'll be your prestige manager. Relationship manager. You feel very... Call me anytime you need me. Wow. Now, divide. Father, if you have something for me, take a decision now. This is it. I'm off. I need my estate now. He got it now. He got it now. He got it now. And it vanished. It disappeared, dissipated, and became a walker. Even when he came back, he said that when you do those things and you come back, you, you cannot come back properly. Yeah. Because yeah. when he came back, his father could ring, rob these, 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 these things. And when the other son came, the other son said, oh, wow. We have been here with you. And his father told him, no. This boy, I've given him the symbols of riches. But you have my riches. The real riches are with those ones. They are symbols. Yeah. The real money is with you. People who display symbols of money they don't have anything. It is those who don't display. The prodigal son was showing rings and robes and shoes and parties. Those who have a lot of parties. They don't, those who have celebrations at this, this. Have you ever seen Britain at 150? Britain at 100? Britain at 90? France at 68? France at whatever? Those who have parties, they don't have money. Oh, yeah. By wisdom, a house is built. You will never know. You always call it money. That today, I will be rich now. I will drive. When I hear people say, Why don't, when are you going to buy your private jet? We could have bought a plane long time ago. Plane in Ghana. We have it back in Africa. It's a symbol. I don't need it. Yeah, everything I, I, I have, I use, I need. I don't need, I don't have it. Oh, yeah, I know the price. I know the price. Some of you, you, are, you have the symbols of wealth, but you have nothing. So, so parties and hair and shoes and rings. Forgive. You are going to be an owner of real wealth from tonight. Tell somebody wisdom, wisdom. is the principal thing. Principal. What, what, does, what is wisdom a source of? It's a source of what? Peace. Happiness. The lady said peace first. Happiness, you see? And what else? Riches. Pleasantness. Honor. Long life. Personal benefits. Huh? Creative abilities. Buildings. Have you understood what is written in the book of James? If anyone lacks wisdom, let him ask. One of your main topics. Every day. Pray about it. I'm telling you, you'll see. Your mind will start to change. You will not even know when your mind changed. 
Because the Holy Spirit will descend on you, but you will not know when he's descending. Then you, your, your mind will start to change supernaturally. You will start to have certain beliefs. Later on, you realize that, how come I believe things like this? How come I think this way? But it's supernatural. It comes on you. You are unaware. That's why it's called the sweet influences of the Holy Spirit. It's sweet. It's gentle. You don't even know that this is how your mind is working now. Yes. You don't even... I know because when I look back, I realize I didn't even know my mind was working, but it's from the Holy Spirit. So pray about it every day. Pray, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Spirit of wisdom. Spirit of wisdom. If you are praying for pleasantness, peace. Don't pray for pleasantness. Be pray for the Holy Spirit and for wisdom. See that pleasantness is coming into your life. Lift your hands and thank him right now for wonderful wisdom that is released into your life in Jesus' name. Lord, we give you thanks and praise for your great wisdom. Yes. Supernaturally, your mind is changing and adapting. Yes. Yes. Mm. Hallelujah. Look at me, everybody, for a moment. You know, just at the end of what I was saying, I feel it's a key. Like the Holy Spirit will be upon but it's like invisible. And then gradually, your mind starts to alter and move. Lift your hand and receive it. You have healed us of stupidity, foolishness. Thank you. Your great blessing. Oh, 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 my God, my God, my God. Thanks a million. We give you praise. Lay your hands on your head. Father, thanks so much for making so many wise men in this church. What a blessing. Thank you. We are going to see pleasantness, peace, goodness, riches, abundance. Your great blessing is our portion. We give you thanks. In Jesus' name, amen. Every head bowed, every eye closed for a moment. If you are here tonight, you are not born again. Pastor, I want to give my life to Jesus. If you are here like that, want to give your life to God, pastor, pray with me. I want to give my life to Jesus. If you are here like that, I don't know who invited you, but you know deep down in your heart that you are not saved. You want to give your life to God. If you are here like that, lift your right hand up high and I want to pray with you. Maybe somebody invited you. I want to give my life to God, to Jesus Christ, today, tonight. Then I want you to lift your hand up because I'm going to pray with you especially. God bless you. God bless you. If you've lifted your hand, I want to see it very high so I can see your hand. God bless you. God bless you. If you've lifted your hand, come to me in the front here so that I can pray with you. Come running, come running to that mercy seat where Stand right Jesus here. is Stand right here. God bless you. His grace God bless you. Come all the way to the front. From outside. From the back. Say this prayer with me. Say, Lord Jesus, 
Please forgive me for my sins. I am sorry for my sins. Please have mercy on me. Wash me, Lord. Cleanse me, Lord. From today, I give my heart. I give my life to Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Please cleanse me from my wickedness with your blood in Jesus' name. Thank you for your, for your salvation. Tonight, I am born again. I am a child of God and I will serve God. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Now, Cadella, what do they do? After church, we'll come and meet them on the stage. Okay, after church, please both of you come here after service. All right? God bless you. you may go back to Give the Lord a mighty clap. Of it. You may be seated. Take out an offering. It is wisdom to give. It is wisdom to give. Amen. What a blessing it is to give. Father, we are grateful for your gift of giving tonight. Bless everyone that gives. In Jesus' name. If you have your tithes, come to the front also. Tithes. Give me one basket in front here. Anybody have your tithes? First Love Church, we don't have weekday service. We have Sunday evening. We don't have anywhere to meet. So, we meet in the evening. Just put it in the basket. Father, thank you for all those presenting their tithes. Wow. I see pleasant people here. Check your nearest pleasant, wisely pleasant sister sitting by your side or brother. Is he is she pleasant? Is he pleasant? No, they are not pleasant. They are not pleasant. How many are going to be wisely pleasant? One day somebody will say, who is that girl who smiled at me when I came in? It's true. Who is that girl? And from that day, your life will change. More than your school that you've been to. That is when your life will change. More than the school that you went to. Who is that person who was nice to me? Nice behavior. Wow. Wow. Father, we thank you as we receive this offering. In Jesus' name. Amen. Ashes, receive the offering. Amen. How many of you have been blessed by the message today? Bishop, thank you so much for a very powerful message on wisdom. Thank you very much for a very powerful message. Amen. We have the dancing stars in the house. Make some noise and let's welcome the dancing stars. It's in my blood now.
Say one thing I know is that I'm never alone, you know. I know God got my back, you know. Yeah. Showing God, you know. All the Christians will have to dance, all the people will have to move, you know. You ready? Show me a fire finger. Huh. God is good all the time, and all the time, God is good. He got my back every day, that's why I just got to say. You never leave, I never forsake, I have been right there with I, to all the great skies. Pulling my hand, never letting go, giving me love, giving me a new flow. I 
Now, oh, Bobby, would you make pop free or say, oh, yeah. And I'm Tina, missing my soul, oh, make us a poor song. My poor would be in that, I try to say, my poor would be in that, I try to say, my poor would be in that, I Solid ground, now hear my 
Yeah, no me say I be some heavenly being But my God not supreme All power belongs to him I can do all things cause he strengthens me oh, Everywhere I go They say I the glow and the show Oh shit, Baba, oh I just shine, oh, shine, oh When people no fit comprehend, oh, and, oh And so, so blessings are they see, oh, see, oh My Papa, they shower them on me, oh, on me, oh
hands together for the dancing stars. Please rise to your feet and let's share the grace. How many of you want more? Watch out for the next wisdom invitation service. Please hold your neighbor's hand and let's share the grace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion, fellowship, contribution, participation, and the first love of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. God bless you.